In this video, I'm going to present to you the box and dot method. It is a very simple method for identifying the key indicators of precision for a given number. So let's start. What I would like to do is just teach this by example. And let's just consider a, a several numbers. And I will pick numbers that are somewhat similar. So that will make it easier to pick up some of the trends that we might see. Let's say we want to look, determine the number of significant figures in this particular number that's given. Now, let me step to a side for a second and tell you why that's important. Two of the key indicators of precision are going to be one, we're going to look at the number of significant figures and we're going to do that in just a moment using the box and dot method. But the second thing is we're going to be interested in the number of what I'm just going to call places. And this is that the same places that you learned back in elementary school, where we're talking about the last significant figure. Does it lay in the hundreds place, the tens place, the ones place, or the first decimal place, or the second decimal place, or the third decimal place? and so on. Right, the box and dot method will allow you to identify the number of significant figures and the most precise place that a number is good to. And so with that, let's consider the box and dot method for the number shown. First box, draw a box from the first non-zero digit through the last non-zero digit. In this case, this would be the box. The second step is, if you see a dot, then box trailing zeros. And here you can see, we do see a dot. And by dot, I'm referring to a decimal point. So if you see a dot, then box trailing zeros. And that's all there is to it. So the number, the significant figures, every digit that is in the box is significant. And so in this case, and let's keep track of these significant figures, and let's take care of, keep track of places. And let's do several numbers and see how that works out. Okay, this number has one, two, three, four, five, six sig figs. And it is good to the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth decimal place. So I'm just going to put six DP. And these are the two indicators of precision for this number. So just as people have a first name and a last name, you may use that analogy to say every number is going to have a certain number of significant figures and the last significant figure, the last figure in the box, will be precise to some certain place. Right. So let's do another number that's, that's similar to this. Let's do 120.34. Again, the box and dot method. Box from the first non-zero digit through the last non-zero digit. Do you see a dot? Yes, so you box trailing zeros. So for this particular number, you can see that it has one, two, three, four, five. This number also has six sig figs but it's only precise to the first, second, third decimal place, which I'll abbreviate DP. Now let me step to the side a second and tell you the reason significant figures and places we use both of those, you will see in a future video. But the main reason is if you multiply or divide two or more numbers, you're gonna use significant figures to determine, to indicate how precise the answer to that multiplication or division operation is. On the other hand, if you add or subtract two or more numbers, 
then the precision of your answer is going to be determined by the places of the numbers that you add or subtract. And so that's the memory thing, which we will talk later. If you multiply, divide, you're going to count sig figs. If you add or subtract two numbers, you're going to count places. Let's return back and take uh, several other numbers, and we can see how that works out. Let's do one more, or a couple of more. Here's one that might be interesting. 0 0.0120 times 10 to the 7th. With numbers written in scientific, in this case, not scientific, but this is written in exponential notation. It has a coefficient and it has an exponent term. A number written like this, you only consider the coefficient. You can just forget in terms of significant figures and in terms of places. You can just disregard the 10 to the n or the power term. And so this number becomes very, very simple to determine box from the first to the non last do you see a dot yes so you box trailing zeros so this number has three sig figs kind of losing track here three sig figs and it's good to the first second third fourth decimal place all right all right i think let me be consistent there fourth decimal place Maybe, okay. Fourth decimal place. I don't think I wrote this one down here. This was good to what? Four sig figs, and it's good to the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth decimal place. And finally, let's just do the number uh, 1,200. And we will do this number, 1,200 with a dot. And we will end it with these. Right. The number 1,200, if you, if you look at that one, uh, you will see from the first to the last. Do you see a dot? No. So this number is good to only two significant figures. And it's only good to the hundreds place. And that's going to be important to know whether you're talking decimal places or you're talking uh, places that are greater than uh, the ones place or greater. And finally, let's complete this last one. And I think you'll have the box and dot uh, figured out. Box from the first to the last non-zero digit. Do you see a dot? Yes. So you box trailing zeros. And so this number, which looks very similar to that number, has indeed has a much different level of precision. This number has four sig figs, and it's good to the ones place. What this is essentially telling you is this person, whoever came up with this, this measurement, was measuring things to probably give or take 100. That's kind of a way, another way of saying that. 1200 it might be 1250 i don't know it might be 1190 i'm not really sure it's a number that if you will rounds to 1200 this number means something very different it means you're precise to the ones place this means this number is 1200 it's not 1201 and it's not 1199 it is exactly 1200 at least to the precision of the ones place and with that, that's the box and dot number. It will a very simple and easy technique that will allow you to identify the two key parameters for determining precision. And those two key parameters are the number of significant figures and the number of places. Mm -hmm.